So Penelope and Lunar, as they swam through the ocean, <clears throat> Lunar looked to Penelope, and she really wanted to tell her something she'd been wanting to tell her for a long time. Penelope, Lunar said, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome, said, said Lunar. I, or, I, I mean, uh, you're welcome, said Penelope. It's what friends do. I know, s said Lunar, but now that means I have to save your life. What do you mean, said Penelope. As they swam through the water, they noticed it was getting colder. Well, it's just what that means. It means I'm basically your slave until I get to save your life, and then I'm, I'm no longer indebted to you. With that, <clears throat> they went swimming even further, and Penelope was thinking about what that meant. She kind of missed Hogwarts. As they were swimming, the ocean was starting to get really, really deep. I can't even see the bottom anymore, said Penelope. This is getting really scary. It's so dark. Look, and she pointed down. You couldn't even see the ocean floor anymore. Lunar looked down, and then they heard something. Something big. And it was coming from the depths below. With that, Lunar's spine began to tingle. I can't believe it. What? said Penelope. I don't want to scare you, said Lunar. Just keep going faster. And so they started to swim as fast as they could. Even though they were mermaids by magic, using the abilities of the siren stones, Penelope felt that she was getting tired. I don't know how much longer I can swim. Well, the only way we could rest, said Lunar, is if we float on the surface. And I don't know if floating out in the middle of the ocean like this is a good idea. But there was no choice. It was almost night, and so they went up and they stopped in the middle of the ocean, looking up at the stars, and they held hands. And they both laid on their backs in the water and floated, looking up at the stars. Who's that? Hey, Mom.